One glorious day, all believers will be eternally with the Lord. We will be with God forever. All Christians will get this unmeasurable honor and privilege. John 3.29 He who has the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. We will rejoice beyond comparison, and this will please our Lord. To be with Jesus forever will give us eternal joy, joy so powerful that I am certain we will only be able to handle it in spiritual form. The harder life gets on earth for us, the more we will appreciate this when it happens. For now we have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit to guide us, comfort us, and sustain us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Revelation, the bride appears to be quite a big deal. Revelation 21, 9 through 11. Come, I will show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. The bride was shown to the apostle John by one of the angels. We will be with Jesus in the city of God, the new Jerusalem forever. Oh, glory. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. The joy, the peace, the love, the purity, the beauty, and the wonderment that we will all experience will be beyond measure. We cannot even begin to imagine how wonderful this is going to be. God always keeps his promises, and he loves us. When all is said and done, some things I am looking forward to are a reunion with all of the pets I have lost over the years, seeing my long-departed family members who believed in Christ, and all of you. We will have all the time we will ever need to do these things, because we will be in eternity and free from evil forever. This unending happiness that we all yearn for is made possible because of Jesus Christ alone. His death and suffering on the cross was pure righteousness and complete payment for all of us to attain this. This is God's plan for all who will believe upon the name of Jesus Christ. Pure joy. A good husband wants to make his wife happy, and Jesus definitely has the resources to do this, our bridegroom. Eternal bliss forever, with Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Isaiah 51.10 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Stay strong, family. We have so much to look forward to. Keep your eyes on the goal, Jesus Christ.